The program on negotiation is committed to improving the theory and practice of negotiation. And what our executive education programs do is help people become more effective negotiators. The first part of the three-day program really introduces participants to a framework for thinking about what negotiation success looks like. It's also designed in that first day to really raise their own awareness uh, about their negotiation strengths and weaknesses. And also, it's designed to give them some sense of what are the sources of value that they can capture as a negotiator. The second half of the program really focuses on domains of challenge or difficulty that negotiators face. Um, so the idea is, once you understand the basic framework, what happens when the other side is difficult? What happens when personality uh, differences uh, crop up? What happens when it's just a hard negotiation problem because there are many parties at the table, pressing deadlines, uh, a relatively small bargaining zone? That's what we really focus on on the second day and a half. People can come to Cambridge and they can essentially get a summarized version of what we've been thinking about for 30 years now at the program of negotiation, some of which is counterintuitive. It's not what your instincts would tell you uh, to do in a situation. I think the idea is to give you a framework and a systematic way of preparing for and thinking about negotiations, which allows you to do better than where your instincts might take you in these complex and sometimes heated situations. Everybody has to negotiate, and most people haven't had any formal training in it. It's a complicated thing to do and one that a lot of the success in our life depends on. There's a, a general, I think, um, instinct in negotiations that more for me must mean less for you and vice versa. And I've seen this in my research over the years in countless situations. What really is a transformative mind shift is to say, wait a minute, uh, more for me doesn't necessarily have to mean less for you. And it's this relentless pursuit of value creating possibilities, uh, not to say you want to be ignoring the value claiming aspect, you want to make sure you get an appropriate piece of the pie, but to really make sure you're squeezing all the juice you can out of the lemon and getting all you can to make the, value, the deal as valuable as possible, I think is a fundamental aspect of what we're trying to teach. You know, part of the problem we face in negotiation is one, that much of what we do is outside of our awareness. Our repertoire is automatic, we learned it you know, before we learned to think. So first we have to bring it into awareness and you only do that by asking people to do things and then to get it mirrored back to them what they did. And second, there's this gap between even what we want to do and what, we're, what we do. So you can only get at that by having people think online in the moment and then we do exercises. We have to do an exercise for any, any skill we want people to walk away with because you just don't get it intellectually. You have to combine understanding it conceptually with understanding what it feels like to do it and to have those words come out of your mouth. We do have a course at Harvard Business School that we teach to all the first year MBAs. Uh, this course is similar in a lot of ways. Obviously it's a longer course at HBS so this is a pretty compressed version. But the basic concepts, the basic ideas, the framework, all those things that we teach at HBS or at Harvard Law School for that matter are uh, what we teach in this course. By attending the conference I think they'll come away with uh, a deeper understanding of their own strengths and weaknesses as a negotiator. They'll also come away with a set of interpersonal tools and strategies for how they can improve as a negotiator going forward. And finally, they come away with a better sense of how others think about conflict, how others approach negotiation. We can help you feel more confident in getting a good outcome. What we offer is a systematic way to think through your goal and to get prepared so that you're not surprised at the table very often, so that you have your best faculties there to think through what's happening and to be able to improvise on the spot. And so you can get a result that you have great confidence in, both for the value to your organization and your own ability to explain it to your boss.